Mine's a, mine's a little weird because I had a very cross-cultural Thanksgiving. I would I would have like um, a roasted turkey next to like a bowl of like like Chinese style fried noodles. Mm. Uh, but the main thing that I loved was when we got done with the turkey, we'd make like a like an Asian inspired broth, and either toss some noodles in there with it, and yeah, like that's what was my favorite mm, part. Yeah, yeah. I would oh, just yeah. say skip turkey altogether. Ooh, get controversial. Yeah. Get, get a, some yeah, duck. Yeah. Get a ham. Get a ham. Have I, some, yeah. yeah. The thing, the one thing, you know, it's it's interesting in the, the U.S. and it's the one kind of holiday that we all celebrate and people bring their own things. But when you host your first Thanksgiving, I remember the first Thanksgiving, my parents practically disowned me. But you have to make it your own tradition. Yeah. And I got a recipe. My mom always just used the cranberry sauce that was on the back of the bag, you know, the one you cook, and then there it is. But I started not cooking them, and you just put cranberry. You eat them raw, basically. You just put them with sugar raw and put some, like, raw. orange supremes or some grapefruit. So and mm-hmm. it's this super tart kind of condiment instead of this sickly sweet thing that kind of – it basically tastes like dessert. Mm. You can have both of them, but try, try cranberries just raw. Yeah. Yeah.